let me say the first obstacle is that um, there's a lot of uh, ambivalence about whether water should be uh, valued. You know, it's um, uh, there's a concern it sh that it's commoditized, that it's privatized, and that that is uh, uh, an inappropriate way to uh, treat water. Uh, moreover, in controversies where, uh, which I've been involved in, you sometimes have a collusion of uh, the environmentalists and the water users to not bring up valuation because each party fears that if you were to uh, do a valuation, it would favor the other side. It, his, his own use or his own interests wouldn't be valued. And so they'd rather not have measurement and be allowed to uh, substitute their own opinion. But that said, it, it's, uh, water is exceptionally, as, as a commodity, as an item, is a, exceptionally complicated. Because, it, um, because of its physical characteristics. Uh, uh, water moves around. Uh, it, uh, I can use water, some returns to the stream. You then uh, can use it. We could ha uh, the stream of water which I'm using, uh, you can use at the same time. Uh, it's it's uh, for recreation, for water-based recreation. Uh, it's uh, an ecosystem. Uh, so it lends itself to many uses. The flow varies if we're talking about stream water. So even if we have water this year, who knows what the flow will be next year. Uh, and so it's an uncertain resource. With land, you know, uh, barring earthquakes or whatever, this plot of land will, will be around for a long time. And with land, you can't have uh, different, completely different people, different households simultaneously using the piece of land as a residence, whereas you can have different people using the same stream as a source of drinking water. Uh, and then there are uh, complicated property rights in that uh, in California and many areas, the Constitution says the water belongs to the people of the state. So when you want to value water, you have to specify. What do you mean? At what location? At what time of the year? Uh, are we talking about an additional quantity? And if so, an addition, what's the baseline quantity? Uh, what's what's the, the quality? Is it uh, affected by salinity? And so, um, whereas you could measure a piece of land and say a piece of land uh, outside Oxford, uh, you know, an average value is so much per hectare. Uh, you, it, it, the average uh, coming up with a rough value for water um, is more often uh, un unreliable. It means different things to different groups of people. And the last thing I'll say is that people care passionately uh, about water. Water arouses strong emotions, and it should. It's necessary for life. It's necessary for livelihood. Uh, in many cases, people are concerned not only about their access to water, but other people's access in their community. Um, and so uh, when you deal with water, you have to be very sensitive about people's feelings. I mean, you have to do a scientific analysis, but you have to do it thoughtfully. Um, you, have to, uh, you have to get the details right, because this means so much to people. And uh, so it's, it's easier to be thoughtless and to do a sloppy job valuing land or other commodities uh, than, than water. It's so important to people. Uh, you need to be able to expose the value. It needs to be realistic and credible.